Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today is a little bit of a different type of speed build when it comes to the lot that I'm making. I was inspired to make a sort of eerie carnival lot for, you know, the Halloween season. I do love Halloween and I do love the not custom world, the store world Midnight Hollow that comes from the Sims 3 store. So this world was built in it and it is inspired like with it. So there are quite a few items used from that world. So you will need this world if you would actually like to download this lot because a lot of the stuff comes from it. The landscaping does. Some of the... I'm not sure, I guess there's some stuff from it, like maybe the lights or something, but a lot of stuff that you de absolutely need for this, for it to work when you place it down, is the Carnival, I think it's the Carnival of Wonders, I don't know if that's what it's called specifically, but that set that comes from the Sims 3 store, it, you need it, absolutely, because the set um, is pretty much the main focal point of what I'm doing when I'm building in the, for this speed build, um, the, like the tents, a lot of the lighting, and some of the arch ways that I use, they're all a part of it. I use the carousel, that's from that. You have to have that, otherwise it's just gonna be empty. There'll be no point to like downloading this. I just wanted to preface that because otherwise, like, you know, it's no point in using it. So for this, um, I do kind of skip a bit because I had a bit of difficulty at first doing the actual roofing for the tents. They have it, they do it in a weird way. Um, so I had to play around with it to figure it out. So I don't spend too much time on that. But um, yeah, I do a lot of, use a lot of store content in this. Just to note, like you, you, if you don't have like a lot of store content in your game, this build is probably not for you. Like in terms of downloading, because there's just not going to be a lot for your Sims to do. Um, a lot, of, or it might look more bare because a lot of it's just going to disappear and it's going to be like, oh, well, what was that supposed to be? Um, and they're just, it's going to look kind of weird probably. Um, so I just wanted to note that as well because sometimes I don't use that much store content in my builds if they're going to be like downloadable for others to use. But this one, I went all out because it is in a store world. It's in my favorite world, Midnight Hollow. And a lot of stuff from the store just really goes well with this world. A lot of the stuff like the, like I showed the, the fortune teller's table and obviously this, this wonder carousel wonder set, it just goes really well with this world. And I wanted to just make something that goes for Midnight Hollow for the Halloween season because I love Halloween. So I do, you know, kind of play around with the eeriness of what Midnight Hollow offers um, in terms of aesthetics. So I do kind of play into that with like the colors and um, with the actual landscaping. I believe I use some shrubs that like um, bushes that are from Midnight Hollow. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they come from this world. So again, like if you want to download this, I would highly recommend only downloading it if you, you know, have the, like the, what's this, the, Car the Carnival of Wonders set from the store, and if you have Midnight Hollow, because otherwise you're just going to be missing so much from this build. It's just going to look so like empty. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like really inspired to make this build for some reason, because I think there was a show I was watching recently, um, I, I already finished watching it like a little while ago, but um, I think something reminded me of it, and I was like, oh wait, there's something kind of similar like with the vibe from that for The Sims, maybe I can do like a Halloween inspired sort of build, like a carnival or something, like a festival or a carnival or a park or something. So I do turn this like park into like a carnival type of lot, so of course one of the main attractions here is the carousel that I'm uh, sprucing up. I don't add a roller coaster because I do have the boardwalk set from the store, but I don't use it because I just wouldn't have enough space. I'm not very good at building the roller coasters, so I didn't even bother, but I do use a lot of st stuff from the seasons pack that typically you would use from like the festival lots. I don't make this an actual festival lot, so it doesn't function like one, but I use a lot of stuff from the actual fall festival portion and I put that stuff into this because obviously this world is very I guess you could say gloomy and the weather seems like it's always kind of in the state of fall or winter so even though you don't it's not like it's not automatically like that but 
you know, you can always set it that way if you wanted to because it kind of looks that way all the time. And I do kind of make this like multifunctional, a lot of stuff. But again, like I said, a lot of it is store content in terms of because I wanted to have the full carnival effect. And to do that, I had to add a lot of stuff that I have from the store. Um, but I do the pathways. It took me a bit to do them. I'm not very good at doing walkways like or pathways for out doors because it, it could be kind of clunky or it's hard to figure out how to do things and like how to were you going to do with the gates you know like or with the uh the fencing and stuff like that so it does take me a while to do that yeah so i do a lot for this lot i make a food like a concessions area and then i have a bunch of little a bunch of like little tents around the big tent but every single tent has like purpose so every single tent has something in it and um yeah there's just like i wanted there to be a lot for your sims to do while they're here and um i make like a park area um kind of near like the carousel because it was kind of like a kid section i guess if that makes any sense and then um the big one like the really big tent i do add a supernatural thing so i think i add like the broom riding thing i wanted it to be sort of like a show arena type of place but i couldn't fit like a stage thing in it with like a platform so i kind of opted for the the broom riding arena and i put a bunch of games and stuff in it you know so it's kind of stuff that's in has a cover because they're electronics of course if it rains you don't want them to get wet so i kind of had that in mind i had some more supernatural elements i with like the like with the fortune teller table like with their own little tent you know how like a, a carnival you know like those generic type of carnivals you see from like shows or movies um, I never really been to a carnival like that before, so I don't know if they're like that in real life. Um, I've been to carnivals or like fairs and stuff, but they never have like the supernatural element or anything like that to them. Um, I, I don't really mean supernatural, but like in terms of like um, mystical things, like how they have um, like the fortune teller booths and things like that. Like I never really, ha I don't, I remember seeing anything like that when I've been to them. Um, but I know like from shows and stuff, it's kind of like this idea that like, you know, like a lot of movies where they're like, come get your fortune told. And then it kind of like alters the in entire plot of the film for the character. And like that whole thing is like centered around the fortune that they were told, like at the beginning of the carnival scene or something. I don't know. Um, so I wanted to add that into this build, <laughs> but yeah, again, like I said, lots of store content, lots of store content, even though some of the stuff from the park is store content. You could always replace it out, though, if you didn't have some of it, like the Spring Riders. Um, and then I do um, a lot of stuff, like like I said, for it to be from the Fall Festival. I make it function as if it is a Fall Festival lot, even though it doesn't have the seasons and it's just like fall all the time. Um, so I do like the pumpkin patch and then I do like the fall food boots. And I add another little tent with some other food, like uh, other registers for other functionality. I add like the, what's the other stuff, like the buying for apples and the haunted house because I love that little rabbit hole thing. It's so cute. And um, like the, I think I do like the pie eating contest table and like seating, bench, like seating for like eating and like just hanging out and stuff like that. And I think, you know, if I, I do play test it. You will see if you do stay for the, uh, remainder of this video if you made it this far um please stay you know or even skip ahead i do do a walkthrough video portion um not just photos because i wanted to really show the showcase like the feel of this lot because it's just so big it's like a 50 by 50 lot so there's just so much to show and photos can only showcase so much within the like the frame so i do like a little walkthrough playthrough with a pre-made household and um just with the townies when they like start spawning in just so you can see the real tone the real vibe of this place the aesthetic and what it's like when it's in live mode but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have made it this far, like I said, do stay tuned. I am going to do, um, I think, some photos at the end after the, the video walkthrough portion as well. And yeah, comment below if you made it this far. Like, let me know what's your favorite like Halloween movie if you do like Halloween movies because I have some favorites. Um, I really love Halloween Town from Disney. I really love, um, it's not really a Halloween movie, but Coraline, it has this kind of vibe and um i really like um 
like twitches from disney i like a lot of disney like halloween movies um but i like other like scary ones too but yeah if again if you did make it this far thank you so much i really appreciate you watching um i'm gonna leave a link below in the description of this video for you to download if you want to and i hope you enjoy if you do play with this lot it, it was a bit uh, troublesome making it at first but i really did enjoy it so yeah, we're going to get into the video portion where I show it off for a bit, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a walk around like I mentioned. So we're using one of the dough, Joseph Doe from the Doe family, and uh, this is kind of like what it looks like. I just wanted to, you know, do a little bit of a walk around and whatnot to get a feel for what it's like. And um, so we have here, like there's a food court. Again, the World of Wonder or like the Carnival of Wonder, I use a lot of stuff from because I wanted the, the carousel to be in it. It just made sense. But this is the lot and I'm just doing a little bit of like, you know, a little walk through here. I have some trees in the way. They, it is in the safe where it just started. So, you know, you won't see a bunch of sims here right now. But I just wanted to show this off. We have our sim here. Eating some popcorn. We have here in this tent the uh, the fortune teller's table. I did want to just show off this area a little bit. So we have this here. There's not much in this tent because it is mostly like the fortune teller tent. So that was like the main thing I was going for. I have these walkways here that kind of lead off, you know, to the different parts of the carnival lot. I have the archery. It is from a lot for like the Renaissance lot. So you would need that lot in order for these to show up. Otherwise, I don't think anything will be replaced. It'll just be empty. But yeah, we have some Sims here. Um, we have, you know, the seating area to eat. This is the carnival, um, the carousel, and we have here, like, the haunted mansion, you know? And bobbing for apples, the, the food contest, we have a bunch of, um, pumpkins. And then I just wanted to show this off, because this is kind of the walkway. And we have here, this is the entryway to the, you know, the actual carnival itself. And I feel like this lot just goes so well with this world because you have the really eclectic, eccentric type of sims and they dress very interestingly in this world because they're all pre-made. So they have preset outfits and um, I just really like look at this sim right here, you know, it, they just really fit in with this lot if that makes any sense. And this is the big tent. This is the inside of the big tent here. So we have the uh, room riding thing. So that's a part of it. And then I do have a lot of store content. Like I said, there's seats, you have the popcorn, the candy machine, the toy machine to make toys, but just seating, you know, to watch the uh, arena. Um, I have some games here. This actually, this game might be from Roaring Heights. Um, this came with the carnival pack, I think. I could be wrong. Um, and then some other little things there. This is the lot pretty much, you know, in its entirety. I really loved the idea of the, like, tents for some reason. I just really wanted to do some kind of carnival thing. But yeah. Oh yeah, and then the back here, I totally forgot. Um, the back, we have the painting thing and the photo booth. And then, like, the little love machine. And, you know, I just I added a bunch of stuff. And even here... Um, you have, for, I have the fall greeting card little photo booth thing here because it goes, you know, fall goes with this. So yeah, this is the entire build. I might put up some screenshots depending how they look, um, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you did. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you do download this, please let me know if you, you know, use it if you enjoy this lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to give this video a thumbs up if you liked this. And I do have a few playlists on my channel to check out if you want to check out more of my content. Thank you so much. I really hope you have a good one and take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.